And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. And this is you. Imagine that. We just um, started the reading and you show up. Eight of Cups in reverse is the energy of somebody wanting to come back. You know, they walked away believing that the destiny is calling them someplace else away from you because they are the lovers is in reverse, right? We had some disconnection, some emotional disconnection. And somebody now wants back because they are not happy. Nine of Cups in reverse. Actually, they were chasing a, a dream, right? It was not something solid. They were chasing a, a fantasy of some sort and now they want back. Eight of Cups in reverse with the King of Cups. Their love matured. They are no more in control of their emotions. They know exactly what they want. And this is the energy of paying attention. Um to what you want, right? It's the energy of emotional intelligence. King of Cups, Eight of Swords and Rivers, right? They are releasing mental prison. They might have been bound to, to a situation to end something and the cycle of some sort go straight to, to the uh, 10 whatever. Oh, imagine that. King of Cups, King of Cups in Rivers, right? Might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is somebody evolving emotionally, right? Evolving emotionally, evolving spiritually. The cups are um, energies of spirituality and, and intuition and, um, and a particular body, mind and soul bond. Um, King of Cups and Knight of Swords. You might be younger than this person. Um, a little bit more in action mode while this person is more, um, you know, reflexive, introspective. Um, probably emotional at this time, but definitely... Um, had their own soul journey uh, by now. Knight of Swords in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody wants to um, settle down, put the conflict to bed, find a solution to whatever conflict you guys had or something, a disagreement of some sort. Knight of Swords with the Empress in reverse. Oh yeah, might be a mom involved, somebody of significance, the mother of their children, the father of their children. And now it's all about leaving that chapter behind. So let's see. Let's see, Gemini, bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And we do have the page of wands. So we have a little bit of fire under our booty here, right? Because the uh, page of wands is a lot of passion, a lot of action. It's a beginning of, right? Not quite mature. Um, it's the energy of communication and the communication of passion. So... Probably somebody just communicated or you are in communication mode at this time. And it's really filling the fire. So let's see. Past energies, Gemini on your side. The person you are dealing with. And mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with. And mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For the end of the month. Or it's from now till the end of the month. We know how energies are fluid. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. Somebody is putting down the burdens. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Wands. A lot of fire, Gemini. A lot of fire. And because of too much fire, right? We had conflicts, disagreements. Self-protection. We stopped fighting and now we put the burdens down. Because we have some passionate communication again. So, <laughs> and the King of Wands and the Six of Wands. We started the reading and you have ones all over the place, Gemini. What's going on here? Um, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Six of Wands. I don't know exactly what happened, but I know, Gemini, that you've been ashamed of, right? Um, we do have this energy of God give me another chance. Um, somehow I feel that... Um, um, yeah, I don't want to say it was too much because, again, when we say statements like this, I mean, what is too much and who's to judge, right? Um, but boy, five of wands, nine of wands, ten of wands, six of wands in reverse, right? Um, I, I feel that this connection at some point, however way it ended, however way it was a lot of shame attached to it, it and you know what I hear? I hear like. I was not my higher self in this connection and I, and I, I can understand and, and relate to it when somebody really pulls the worst out of you, right? 
and um, you know um, kind of pushes all the red buttons that we have you know hidden or less hidden and I kind of feel I kind of feel that we we got into a kind of passionate fight I don't know if that was jealousy because somebody was having all the attention that is an indication here of somebody being extremely social and um, you know admired and being out there and the more people looked and admired him or her right um, it got to their head and and then we we got into all kinds of difficulties right we have the energy of self-protection we have energies of blocking we have energies of fighting um, fighting for it and fighting with the person right so I um, I believe somebody again put you in a in a tough spot to be and um, it was difficult to find uh, the place where we act from our higher self our spiritual self and we um, gave in to something um, Gemini this person of yours they do have the four of swords in reverse and the ten of pentacles this is an energy of somebody searching and looking for stability, right? Uh, Four of Swords is doing something. It's a lot of action. It's a lot of planning and strategizing because they needed that stability. Ten of Pentacles, right? They needed things to be the same every single day, to have a sense of family, to have a sense of roots, a sense of belonging and, and being part of. And a sense of legacy and children and, and money and family and bigger family, right? We know Ten of Pentacles is the energy of, of extended families where parents and grandparents are involved in, in that beautiful dynamic of family. And uh, they acted on it. I don't know if, um, you know, at some point they said, you know, we are having too much conflict. I feel insecure. This is not how I want to lead my life, right? And somebody walked away. So five of wands and the two of pentacles. This is mutual energies and Gemini has this, I was struggling, they were struggling, right? So you were struggling, they were struggling. Two of pentacles is really trying to keep something in balance when the whole Titanic is um, drowning, right? Um, five of wands again. And we just started the reading and both energies upright. So... Conflict between people that led to internal conflict and questioning and trying to stay put in balance. But again, one feeling ashamed and the other one feeling that they deserve the stability at some point. We have a mature energy here with the king of uh, wands, but we also have the page of wands. So probably a, a difference in age, um, but also in approach, right? One saying, so what? And we start the fight just because. While the other person might have, you know, felt a little bit like, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I have the energy for this. Um, and again, both this energy of struggling, it's kind of like both of you, you had that talent of pushing all the red buttons to the other one, right? And it happens, no judgment. It's just, you know, it's life. Um, so Gemini, right now, we do have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I don't feel it's a water sign uh, uh, after all these ones on the table, right? But it can be. And I feel that we are focused on a new beginning here. Some of you might have a, a proposal of some sort. Can be from a water sign, but I don't, I, it's not the main energy I'm picking up. It's more um, the energy of starting new but still being um, emotionally tied up to this person, emotionally drained by what happened. Probably we have here cups in reverse. We know it's about sadness, isolation. We know it's about us not listening to our intuition at this time because to, way too emotional and longing for a bit of stability, uh, planting seeds with the um, Ace of Pentacles, right? Now this person of yours, Nine of Swords in Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, they are so consistent. We have Ten of Pentacles in the past, Ten of Pentacles right now. It is in Reverse, right? So again, in need for stability, in need for peace of mind. Nine of Swords in Reverse, they were so stressed by what happened. Um, and also in it's an urge to act right four of swords in reverse is like i need a plan for this shit you know it's like i have to have something uh, because i'm way too stressed and i'm losing my mind nine of swords is the energy of losing their mind 
um, about it and I feel and for some of you it's this person might have financial struggles here um, then they might feel unstable at this time and unable to provide with the ten of pentacles in reverse and stability is on their mind financial and and other uh, types of stability can be emotional with the family can be can mean the stability of a solid mind having a plan having the clarity of where they need to be and where they need to go okay um mutual energies between the two of you six of cups yes soulmates by the way if that was your question yes you think about them yes they think about you and the world wanting and longing for happy endings wanting to turn up the page in a positive way wanting to find a solution to this that's the world and just um, going with the flow and allowing new energies to come in by allowing energies negative energies that we have we release them by allowing them to um, to go of course we are still attached on your side you look emotionally attached on their side it has something with stability and money and concerns um, you know but nonetheless nobody let go of this and of course um, it has an energy of reconciliation with the six of cups for some of you but because it's connected and tied up to the world it's yes I think about them but I also need to have new energy stepping in right I need to feel a new vibe at this time and that's both of you Energies um, coming your way, Gemini. We do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands. So somebody here is not really, um, doesn't have enough energy to uh, focus on this or do something about. It has the energy of we are not focusing on home, family at this time. Can be a personal need to put to bed some conflict and in inner um, struggles and conflict, emotions of some sort. And I feel that October, the main focus is um, someplace else, right? For now, family stability, the energy with your soulmate might not be of concern, the energy that's coming your way. And of course, this person has the hangman. Um, again, the energy of not uh, paying attention, but not making um, a move. And we have also the seven of wands in reverse. It's a contemplation of unblocking. It's a contemplation of... Um, you know, taking chances, taking risks, but it's all in their head, right? It's also the energy, Gemini, of somebody um, um, watching you. And we know the, uh, the, the hanging man is also observing, watching, changing perspectives, trying to understand where you come from and why things happened the way it happened, right? And they are contemplating getting closer. Seven of Wands is, I want my bubble in reverses. I am about to open up. I have something to say. I have to watch you first and understand. Mutual energies between the two of you, the Knight of Swords in reverse, which is your energy, and the King of Pentacles. You know how um, what's coming your, both your way is kind of the energy, if Gemini doesn't do a thing, I am not nurturing this connection. Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's kind of um, interconnected if you do something they'll do something if they'll do something maybe you'll do something it's it's an interesting energy right it's uh, related to ego also the six of wands in, in reverse is the energy of ego is the energy of um, you know I want to be under you know uh, on my best um, kind of like um, you know so nobody needs to to kind of mess with your image of some sort and I feel it might be preventing you from finding a solution to this. But you see how I see, right? Um, we are not having a lot of movement. We are contemplating movement. We are contemplating effort. On your side, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, the energy of effort, but it's in reverse. It's like, well, not for now. Let me fix me uh, first. That's the energy on your side. Let me have a new beginning. Let me find my stability, even if it's just a small pentacle, you know, but I wanna find my stability. On their side, it's like, I need stability and I need to change my perspective if I want stability. That's the energy on their side, right? I might have to take a chance to take a risk to get closer to Gemini, but, you know, still, I have to. Because on stability is on their mind. That is no doubt about. 
and also thinking of you and you thinking of them right six of cups right there and yes soulmates right right at the core of the reading so um gemini let's see what we are guided to do when it comes to this connection we do have the garden so you cultivate your inner world this is self-protection this is all about care healing this is about your universe we do have inner peace i know right so the universe is, is kind of saying to you with with this one ouch um self-protection and inner peace somehow both of them are interconnected you need to be creative about your inner peace and the way you take care of yourself and i know it's pandemic all over the world so when it comes to uh, those energies inner peace there is a lot of stress um, around the world and i kind of feel the universe is saying i know it's a special time so we need special measures right and we do have worthiness like a big a homework and gemini a big homework uh, want to take care of yourself, want to take care of your mind, want to take care of your creativity and then your self-esteem and worthiness. Bottom of the deck, love is all around you. That is love everywhere, all the time, Gemini. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So the idea, you need to see love in places. Kind of like the universe saying, don't give up on love. You just have to open your eyes and see it. Okay? But again, we have some homework. I, it's been a long time that I haven't seen such a clear message, right? Self-protection, inner peace, creativity, and worthiness. It's all about you, actually, um, at this time. Now let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have imagination. It's interesting. We have creativity and now we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay, that is something that you need to be creative about. When it comes to this connection, you need to think outside the box. Um, get out of your own way or whatever you were, um, however you are doing things in relationships and love. Um, now it has to be different and it has to come from a place of imagination of pushing boundaries um, and doing things differently. We do have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone and I kind of feel it has something to do with inner peace and loneliness. Uh, maybe it's the difference, um, Gemini, somebody here is actually guided to see a difference between loneliness and inner peace, right? It's okay to spend time with ourselves, right? It's okay to have a moment where nobody's disturbing us and we connect with uh, the universe um, through you, right? We are vessels, right, of, um, of energy. So I feel that you are guided to, um, to go back to that energy and, and connect with that inner power that you have within you. Because again, we have some healing, creativity, imagination, self-esteem, and inner peace. We do have grief. So this is something we need to let go of. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I feel that this comes with love is all around you, right? And then you understand that actually there is love all over the place. There is no need, right? No reason actually to be in pain. We do have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. That's why the garden, right? That's why the self-care. That's why the self, that's why the healing. It takes time. And we have abundance again, creativity, imagination, and abundance. Absolutely. So I am. this is how you activate abundance in your life, Gemini, by saying to yourself um, all through the day, right, under your breath, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in my physical reality. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality beautiful absolutely beautiful let's have some journal guidance here let's see what we need to hear and then we say, and then we say goodbye we have passion wow archangel haniel i guess it's pronounced 
So trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career, Gemini. And I feel with the Ace of Pentacles that we are having a new beginning here. And the universe is guiding you to be passionate about, to be open, to be creative. You know, we have one card that flipped. And we have deservingness. Are you kidding me? We have worthiness and now we have deservingness. You are a beloved child of God, Gemini, like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose and passion in career and now life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazingly you truly are. How amazing you truly are. Are you kidding me? You are a worthy um, Gemini. You are worthy. That's twice the message. Be creative. Be abundant. You are worthy. And I love this even more, Gemini. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You are worthy, Gemini. That's the whole message that I'm hearing at this point. Um, it's not about this person. All the guidance moves towards you are worthy. You have to work on your inner peace, your, the way you see things, your abundance, and your self-esteem. You are worthy twice. So, um, so if, you know, sometimes I say to myself, and if things are not going my way and I don't get what I want, I say to myself, it's because, Michaela, you deserve better, you know? So, Gemini, if you feel that you are not receiving uh, what you want is because you deserve better and worthiness. You deserve more and better. So, uh, oh, you have to believe it and manifest it because it's here twice, you know? So, Gemini, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.